What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you're all ready for the weekend. Have a good weekend, I hope. This today, I want to put up another video more of more for more pro, another little short progress on the uh, truck and update you on some other progress that was done that I don't think I recorded a bit or made a video of. In front of me here, I have the MST MX1 monster truck chassis. This is the one I bought used off the marketplace. It had the Castle Sidewinder 3 brushless setup in it. And I originally offered some jumps and our stuff broke something in the front differential from all the force of bad landings that ended up killing that front diff. So, which in that point is since I can't get parts for these, this truck because I think it's discontinued, or if it's not discontinued, I believe. The parts, it's just harder to get, which I, but I think it is discontinued last I checked, and which means parts for it is harder to get find. So what I had to do is improvise and use other parts. So underneath, as I, and I think I put up, made up the last video on it, was uh, the axles getting replaced. There's the old axles there. So, since I needed axles, and what I wanted to do originally anyway, was put a wider axle so that it increased the handling and stability of the truck. Because before, with those skinnier axles, the stock ones, the truck was too skinny in width, and it would roll over during turns or whatnot, and even... Just bashing it in general kind of just was a rollover happy vehicle. Plus, it had individually two shocks on each corner. So, the last video I believe in my process I did that I recorded on this truck, I swapped these here all metal axial wraith axles under this thing. And they're beef. They're plenty strong for all the bashing that I do with this. They're, they were great. Unfortunately, yes, they are locked fully because they're actually a crawler axle or, or a rock racer slash crawler axle. They're not really a basher axle, but that's fine because it don't matter for me to have, you know, for monster truck bashing and stuff like that, anyway, I don't mind it. Technically, because monster trucks have, I believe they have uh, open dif differentials anyway, but for this, it's going to be fine for what I'm using it for. But, um, it just, it's that much more beefy and whatnot. But, uh, and if I get stuck in certain situations with mud or, <sighs> excuse me, snow, I know with having locked differentials front and rear, I can bash it a little bit more in the snow, knowing I have lock differentials but and had a little more fun but um the problems i had so far with it was like i said that axle i broke something so i had to change it number one because i needed new axles and number two i wanted to widen the width the stance so that way i could uh have more stability so i did that i also took one of the each shocks off in each corner so this way it dropped down a little bit for a little bit better, a little lower, slightly lower in height, and with the wider axles, wider width. So this thing handles great now, but like I said now it seems like it's a little too underpowered, but it could have been just been the 2S battery that I had was dead or was almost dead. So I'll have to test it again with a fresh two cell battery. But today's video is all about tires because I've had for a while not a while but since basically the last video this Traxxas wheel on here and then the other three of the actual factory MST monster truck uh, wheels and tires because the fourth one I originally had on another crawler a TRX4 I had back in the day during a winter storm and, and just to get out there and bash the TRX4 a little bit have fun in the snow and I guess I didn't have the lug, the bolt tight, and it stripped that back half of the wheel here, right here, on the other monster truck wheel, the hex, and it rounded it all off. So that wheel is junk. 
But for now, I bought wheels so I could throw it on here, have fun still getting it out there and have fun bashing it and enjoying it. Which is that's going to be today's video. Also, with the update, I did end up getting last night. I did not record it, but I got a receiver and controller finally because I noticed in the last video I did say that I was still waiting on getting that. But that's got that last night. I put that in last night. So now it's got a receiver, it's got a controller, and it's ready to run, which is awesome. So for now, I'm going to set up the camera and install all these wheels and tires here. That's what this wheels, this video is pretty much about, mostly, mainly about. It was just updating on the status of this, which now it's ready to run, and these wheels. For wheels, I went with. Traxxas Bigfoot wheels, the chrome, these guys here, the big, they're actually the Bigfoot wheels that go with this Traxxas Stampede Bigfoot body, these wheels go with it, however, the Stampede, the Bigfoot Stampedes, they only came two-wheel drive. So the back spacing on the front wheels of the stampede to the back wheels on the stamp the front wheels to the back wheels of the stampede, they have different back spacings on the wheels. So what I did, knowing that the front wheels have less back spacing, which pushes it out the wheel and the back of the stampede two wheel drive, I wheel and and a rustler stampede and rustler. The wheels are pushed in in the back, different back spacing, because they have a wider stance in the back on those two-wheel drive trucks, short course, or the short two-wheel drive trucks, I should say. Actually, even the two-wheel drive slash, because if you look at these here, slash wheels, bam, rear, the slash is even. Any, basically, of the Traxxas basher platform vehicles, short tourist trucks, the short tourist trucks, and the monster trucks, if they're two-wheel drive, the back spacing is different between the back to the front. So what I did, so it all matched, and I didn't have wheels sticking in and wheels sticking out, or however, I got four, four of the Traxxas stampede front wheels for the bigfoot stampede this way they're all going to be pushed out of the pushed out back spacing versus the in and i can keep that wide stance that i'm looking for for this for the handling and looks all together now these which i'll show you these stock mst wheels this is where it gets good check this out now these wheels as you can see there's practically no backspacing versus the Stampede wheels, which have some in a, in a little deeper. So there's some backspacing on the factory Stampede wheel, but the MST, there's none. So this will kind of sit in a little bit, but as compared to the rear wheels, which have, this is even deeper because the rear wheels have less backspacing, this is going to to the floor that wheel is going to stick out a little bit more versus the rear wheels from the stampede rustler and slap that would be in more but they're going to be in a little bit more versus these wheels which stick out more another difference between these two wheels this wheel is 2.2 2.2 on both sides this wheel is your typical short course wheel. 2.2 on this side and I believe 3 inch on this side. So if I wanted to unglue these somehow, maybe bake them in the oven or however everybody else does it, I could unglue these tires, save these wheels, and then buy a better set of tires for these wheels. Or just buy the pro line ones down the road when I'm ready to spend money I don't want to spend. Which is why I went this route, because it's a little cheaper. But, just a side-by-side -side comparison. 
as a comparison, you can see technically the Traxxas on the left is slightly taller than the MST. Not by much. And it's sort of a little skinnier than the wider, a little bit wider of the MST wheel. Not by much. Again, small increments. Nothing really completely crazy wide or any diff big main crazy difference. But other than the wheel, there's another comparison as you can see. It's just slightly wider than the tracks. It's not by not by much so again i'm gonna lose a little width but with these wide axial wraith axles it's not gonna matter much but enough blabbering let me put these on here and uh i'll see you guys in a second bam <laughs> there it is all four are still mounted up Still has a nice wide stance. I like it. I like it. You know. Still has that monster truck look. It still seems like it sits a little high for my liking. But then again, there we go. Once you squat it down, but seems that could have just be the suspension because but yeah. Still has a nice wide stance with these wraith axles. Everything lines up perfect there, nice and straight. Nice and straight. 